Today, we are talking all things Desert Vulture, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for the average gamer by an average gamer. And today, we are back in the Savin's World testing grounds to test all things Desert Vulture. This is Seven Days to Die, Alpha 19, and we are going to jump right into it. So I'm going to head into our little command center here, get everything we need, and we will get this bad boy going. I have gone ahead and gathered everything that we are going to need to take a very, very in-depth, deep dive look at the brand new Desert Vulture. And we are going to start off with the skills. So this main skill that governs the Desert Vulture is the first one you want to talk about is in the Agility Tree. It is the Gunslinger perk. This says, settle your disputes the old way and be a gunslinger in the apocalypse. Master the use of handguns and SMGs. Level one, you can open up immediately, and that is P Shooter. You're no Wyatt Earp, but you're better than the average drifter. Craft quality two, poor handguns, deal 10% more damage, 5% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload with handguns. Unlocks the pistol crafting. Level two is Outlaw. This can be unlocked at agility level three. You are making a name for yourself, Outlaw. Craft quality three fair handguns, deal 20% more damage, 10% faster fire rate, and reload 15% faster with handguns. Level three can be unlocked at agility level five. This is Sheriff. You can keep most situations under control, Sheriff. Craft quality four good handguns, deal 30% more damage, 15% faster fire rate, and reload 20% faster. Critical damage, five successive hits in a short time cause critical damage. Level four gunfighter unlocked at agility level seven. You're now a gunfighter and can clear out a saloon full of rowdy bastards at the drop of a hat. Craft quality five great handguns, deal 40% more damage, 20% faster fire rate, and reload 25% faster. Critical damage. Four successive hits in a short time cause the last shot to do 100% extra damage. That's awesome. And tier five opens up at agility level 10. That is the gunslinger level. You are the fastest gunslinger in Navis game. Deal 50% more damage, 25% faster fire rate, and 30% faster reload with handguns. Critical damage. Three successive hits in a short time caused the last shot to do 100% extra damage. Awesome. So this is a pretty cool cool tree, and it governs a whole lot of weapons, not just the Desert Eagle. So if you're looking to go and uh, use any kind of handgun, that is the agility tree is the one that you're going to want to take. So let's go ahead and take a look at the agility attribute itself. And much like uh, many of the other attributes, this gives you extra headshot damage and extra chance to dismember. So at level one, you get a 200% headshot damage boost and 5% chance to dismember with bows, handguns, and knives. And it increases by 10% headshot damage and 5% dismember chance all the way up to level 10, which gives you 300% headshot damage and you have a 50% chance to dismember. Very, very cool indeed. So that is everything in the agility tree that governs the Desert Eagle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the book series. Now this is something that I'm not 100% sure on. We're going to test this here down the road. The Magnum Enforcer book series should affect the Desert Vulture. It should. Because, uh, for instance, volume one says... Damage. The 44 Magnum is the most powerful handgun in the world. Do 10% more damage with 44 guns. The Desert Vulture is a 44 gun. So I'm assuming that the Magnum Enforcer will affect the Desert Vulture as well. Not just the 44 Magnum, but the Desert Vulture as well. We're going to test that and see, but I'm pretty sure that it, that it does. So we'll go through these one by one just so we can, uh, we can discuss what each book has to offer. Uh, just in case it does affect it. So volume one is damage, 10% more damage. That's awesome. Volume two, apparel. These $29 suits look good and help reduce incoming damage. 
take 5% less damage when wearing a suit. In my opinion, kind of a crappy book because who wears a suit in the apocalypse? <laughs> Although, I mean, I, I guess if you want to look, look cool while you're slaying some zombie jerks, nothing wrong with wearing a suit. But there are much better clothing out there, which is why hardly anybody in this game wears a suit. Whatever. It's there. You need it to complete the series. And completing the series in this in this book series is a very good thing to do. All right. Let's move on to book volume three. Unlucky Punks. Did I fire five shots or six? The last shot in the chamber does double damage. Now, this one here is kind of gives me a little pause. Will this one work on the 44, the Desert Vulture? Because... Yes, Magnums are revolvers. The, the 44 Magnum is a revolver, only holds six rounds. But the Desert Vulture has a magazine. And usually that magazine is much, much more than six. So does the last shot on the Desert Vulture get double damage? I don't know. We're going to check it out and see. Next up is Bartering. Intimidation. Tired of getting robbed by punk traders? Bartering with a 44 gun drawn gives you a 5% better deal. So that is cool. It, I like how it says a 44 gun. It doesn't say a 44 Magnum. It says 44 gun. So that should mean that if you have your Desert Vulture, you go bartering trying to sell some stuff, you have that uh, in your hand while you're doing your bartering, you get 5% better deal. Next up, we have Volume 5, Armor Piercing Ammunition. Criminal scum sometimes wear bulletproof vests, so use armor piercing ammo to service justice. Craft AP44 ammunition. Next up is volume six, hollow point ammunition. The most powerful handgun in the world just got more powerful. You can craft hollow point 44 magnum ammunition. Next up is volume seven, criminal pursuit. The adrenaline from chasing scumbags down in the heat of combat boosts your stamina. Sprinting with a 44 gun drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. That's pretty sweet. And then the bonus, if you complete, you get all seven books, you get penetration. 44 regular and HP ammo can penetrate en enemies and hit targets behind them. It also opens up bulk crafting. Too many creeps and not enough ammo. Bulk craft all 44 Magnum ammunition. That is pretty darn sweet. That's a lot. Not only do you get the ability to bulk craft ammo, you also get basically the penetrator perk for the Desert Vulture. So there you have it, folks. That is the skills and the book series that governs the Desert Vulture. Next, let's take a look at actually crafting the Desert Vulture. Now, I will caution you. The Desert Vulture is one weapon that you cannot unlock via a skill tree. You actually have to find the schematic. So if I come here and, and look the, for the Desert Vulture... The uh, only unlock option available is the Desert Vulture schematics. You actually have to find the schematic. But once you do find the schematic, the Gunslinger perk tree will govern the tier that you can craft, all the way up to tier 5. So much much like the all the other handguns that you can craft, once you find the schematic, then your gunslinger perk level will dictate what level desert vulture you can craft. Okay, hopefully that, that, that was clear. So be on the lookout for the uh, for the desert vulture schematic because you actually need that before you can craft desert vultures. But once you have that, you will be able to uh, craft the desert vulture if you have handgun parts, forged steel, duct tape, scrap polymer, and springs. So pretty standard for what it, uh, what it takes to craft this weapon. However, I will caution you again, as you increase the tier of Desert Vulture, these the cost of these items, it's the same items, but the amount that you need will increase. So keep that in mind. A level, a tier one Desert Vulture is not gonna use the same resources as a tier five. So keep that in mind. But you will need to find the schematic. You will need to find yourself some handgun parts, forged steel, duct tape, scrap polymers, and springs. Once you get all that together, craft yourself up a desert vulture, and you are good to go. Pretty sweet. Now let's take a look at the desert vulture base stats. We're going to compare that to the 44 Magnum. 
So let's go ahead and start at level one. So level one gives you range damage of 68. That's pretty sweet. And magazine size of nine, that it fires 135 rounds per minute, has an effective range of 22 meters or 22 blocks. And then the max durability 218, that's low because it is a desert, or it is a level one. But let's compare that to the Magnum. Magnum has uh, damage, uh, so higher damage on the tier one. However, the magazine size is down by three. So let's see here. I'm going to get back on the uh, Desert Vulture here and we'll compare. So a little bit better damage and a lot less on the ammo, the magazine count the rounds per minute, and pretty similar effective range. Now let's go ahead and move on to Tier 2. Tier 2 for the Desert Vulture, range damage of 80, magazine size 9, rounds per minute 125, effective range 25. We compare that to the 44 Magnum, and it's almost identical, uh, the damage is almost identical, only one point different, but everything else is, is worse on the Magnum. Next up is tier three. And get, again, keep in mind that all weapons have random stats. They're not set. So the thing I really want you folks to see here, let, let's go ahead and check out the check out the, the tier six. Look at that. Tier six does 101 damage, magazine size of nine, uh, 134 rounds per minute, and an effective range of 21. So it looks like the, the effective range is right around between right around the 20 meter mark is the is the effective range and let's look at the tier six uh, uh magnum you compare them so the base damage is almost the same the thing you really need to keep an eye on keep in mind the thing i absolutely love is that the 44 magnum cannot be modified to increase the amount of rounds that it can hold it's a revolver it can only hold six you can't uh, switch out the revolver mechanism with uh, an, another one that holds more rounds. Whereas the Desert Vulture has a magazine, which means you can increase the amount of rounds that, that the Desert Vulture can hold. Plus it automatically comes with 50% more ammo in the magazine. So this has six, this has nine. That's a 50% increase in the amount of ammunition that can hold. That, that makes the Desert Vul Vulture much more viable options, especially late game. When you're getting swarmed by a whole bunch of, of zombie jerks, the Magnum's great for power, but because it only has six shots, it makes it very, very difficult. You can not You can only kill up to a maximum of six zombie jerks. If you have more than six coming at you, like let's say Horde Knight, <laughs> the Desert or the, the 44 Magnum is just not viable. It, 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 the, the reload speed on this bad boy is slow, and it just does not hold enough ammunition. However, the Desert Vulture has a much bigger magazine size, plus it can be modded to make that magazine size even bigger. That's why I was so excited when the devs announced that they were putting the Desert Vulture in the game. Awesome, awesome weapon. I'm really excited to see this bad boy in action. But we have one more thing to cover before we go out and kill us some zombie jerks. And that is the mods that are available for the Desert Vulture. I'm going to start at the top here, and we're going to work our way down. The first row here are the uh, the sights that you can add on. So we have the laser sight, which helps with aiming quickly and increases accuracy when firing from the hip. We have the reflex sight that is designed for fast target acquisition, improves weapon handling. And we have a two times scope mod. That makes you be able to zoom in two times. Awesome. Cool. Next, we have the trigger groups. All three trigger groups can go on. So we have the semi mod, the burst mod, and the full auto mod. Down here, we've got the barrel extender. We have the weapon flashlight. We have the muzzle brake, which reduces recoil. We have the magazine extender. Oh, yeah. Like I said, this is one thing I was so excited about because the Desert Vulture has a magazine. That means it can hold the magazine extender mod. Pretty sweet, making it even, even better. We have the rad remover mod that disables the regenerative powers of uh, radiated zombies. Silencer mod. Yep, that's pretty self-explanatory. The Hunter mod and the Cripplum mod. So that is a look at all of the mods that can go onto the Desert Vulture. It is time, I believe, to go outside and kill us some zombie jerks. 
First, we're going to start off with uh, no mods, no skills, no books, nothing. We're just going to test out these bad boys. And I'm like, I'm only going to test the tier six. There's no point in testing every single one of these. I just want to give you guys an idea of what, what these weapons actually do. Then we're going to mod up this bad boy, read all the book series. We're going to uh, pump up our skills and we're going to see what this bad boy can do it at the peak of its uh, functionality. We're going to use it to slay as many zombie jerks as we can. Really excited about uh, about seeing this bad boy in action. So let me head over to the rifle range and we will get started. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the Savin's World Rifle Range. Let's go ahead and get started testing this bad boy out. All right, so this weapon has an effective range of 21, which means we're going to be parking ourselves right about the 20 mark. And I'm going to spawn in some zombie jerks in our testing bay down here. And we will see exactly what this bad boy can do. All right, so I went ahead and I spawned in some zombie Arlanes. We are going to first start at the uh, 10 meter mark here. And we're going to see how this bad boy does. This is level one, no skills, no perks, no books, just the weapon with regular ammo. So we're going to give this bad boy a shot. Oh, look at that. One shot. Oh, one shot kills on every single one of them. Awesome. So now I'm going to, and that was at 10 meters. Now I'm going to spawn them in again, and we're going to test this out at 20 meters. All right, there we go. Now we are standing at the 20 meter mark, and it has an effective range of 21, so this should still hit them. Let's go ahead and let's uh, aim this bad boy. Boom. Oh, yeah. Even at 20 meters, one shot took them all down. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and let's try something a little bit tougher. Let's try taking out the soldier. All right, boys, you hang out here just for a second. Now, we're just going to do this at the 10 meter mark. I've already demonstrated that it still works near the maximum of its effective range. So we're not going to move all the way back. But I want to see how this bad boy does against soldier zombies. And we're going to go center mass instead of headshots. All right, so two shots to the, the armored uh, soldier zombie. Now let's see if we can do a headshot on this last one. All right, headshot takes him down. And two shots. So it's one shot headshot or two shots if you go center mass. Not too bad at all. Now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in 25 zombie Arlenes. And we're going to see this bad boy in action completely. Because we want to test the fire rate and all that fun stuff. All right, let's see how how fast I can mow through all of these zombie Arlenes. Boom! So a pretty not not the fastest fire rate, but remember we are level one. And look at that recoil. That recoil is something. Still the Desert Vulture. Oh, man. It packs a punch. One shot kills all around. It was pretty sweet. Although, you know, I, I'm i not the best shot in the world, and I, I missed at point-blank range a few times. It's pretty sad, I, I will admit. <laughs> all right. The next thing we want to test is the book series. So we want to see if the, uh, the actual book series will affect the Desert Vulture as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and read all of the books. I'm going to spawn some zombies in a line, and then we're, that'll be the way we can we can test to make sure that the uh, book series actually does work. Because uh, completing the book series will give us the penetrator perk that should allow us to shoot through the, uh, the zombies here. So I'm going to go ahead and read them all. And let's go ahead and get some zombies here spawned in in a line. There we go. So now we've got four... Arlene's in a straight line and if that book series works here, let me clean up the uh, mess here. Sorry, ladies 
you're kind of in the way. There we go. So now if that book series governs the Desert Vulture as well, we should get that added penetrator perk uh, that, that you get from completing the series. So we've got him in a line. We're going to fire one shot, and we're going to see if we hit multiple zombie jerks. And boom. Look at that. Boom, boom. Two down. One shot, two dead. <laughs> so there you go, folks. It is confirmed. The Magnum Enforcer does indeed govern the Desert Vulture. Pretty darn sweet. So now that we've gone ahead and we've read the books, let me go ahead and, and level up my character. We're going to get him to max skills, max perks that govern this. I'm going to modify it. We're going to spawn in a whole bunch of zombie jerks, and we are just going to go to town. So I will be back in one second, and we will kick this thing off. There we go. Okay, so I went with the Rad Remover, Muzzle Break, Magazine Extender, and Crippleum Mod. I did want to show you folks this. Let's go ahead and take the Crippleum off here for now. Uh, because you can only have e either the Muzzle Break or the Barrel Extender, you cannot put multiple mods on the barrel. So, I, like, you can't have a Barrel Extender and a Silencer or a Barrel Extender and a, break, a Muzzle Break mod. So when you're choosing your mods, you have to choose one or the other. I chose the muzzle brake because it reduces recoil. The recoil on the Desert Vulture is kind of intense. So you, you definitely want to uh, bring that down if you can. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the stats on our Desert Vulture now. Woohoo, look at that. 128 damage, 13 magazine size. That is awesome. So we got 1344 rounds in our desert vulture. Ha <laughs> ha, pretty sweet. Okay, and I also wanted to show you this. I left it un uh, unloaded for a reason. Watch this reload speed. Boom, done. As opposed to the Magnum, where you flip it open, you reload it, you flip it closed, and then you do that stupid spin thing. The Magnum reload takes forever which is why, in my opinion, late game, it's not very viable because it doesn't hold enough rounds and the reload, even if you have it maxed out, is really, really slow. So now that we've got this bad boy maxed out, let's do this. We are going to bring in a whole bunch of zombie Arlenes. We're going to turn their AI back on and we are going to go to town. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Just see how awesome this bad boy is. Boom! You see how fast that reload was? Woo! I love it! And that penetrator. Boom! <laughs> oh, love it! Look how fast that reload is. Look at that! Oh, you know what? Let's go down to uh, this middle one here. We're going to spawn in 25 more. I want to do that again. That was so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Get them in. Hello, ladies. This time, I'm going to start off here right about here and we're going to get them coming at us and this time we're going to we're going to use uh the sights we're going to actually aim instead of just uh firing here so here we go boom look at that reload speed killing them two at a time Oh, love it. Oh, man. I love this weapon. It is amazing. Do you see how fast I went through them? I was killing them two at a time. The reload speed is fan fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the recoil now with that uh, mod on there. Yeah, not, not nearly as bad as it was. I mean, the recoil... The recoil still is is pretty intense, so you got to be careful of that. But, oh, I love it. And look at that reload speed. Boom, done, ready to go. This means that the Desert Vulture is going to be much more, much more viable down the road. We were able to, to, to slice through all of those zombie jerks, killing them two at a time. Oh. No problems whatsoever. I I didn't I, I stood there for most of it 
and slowly had to back up a little bit. But that was with 25 of them coming at you. Oh, love it. Oh, man. So there you have it, folks. That is all things Desert Vulture. We went over the skills. We went over the, the perks, the books, the mods, how to craft this bad boy. And we slayed ourselves a whole bunch of zombie jerks and had so much fun doing it. I absolutely love this weapon. It is going to be a blast. I really hope I find one or find the schematic in my playthrough. Oh, it's going to be sweet. It almost makes me want to go into the agility tree. Almost. So there you have it, folks. All things Desert Vulture. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this weapon. Uh, was there something I missed that you want me to go over? Are you ex as excited to, about finding or crafting a Desert Vulture as I am? I love this weapon. I was so excited when the, when the devs said that they were bringing it into Alpha 19. And now actually using it? Oh, I love it amazing cannot wait to find one or craft one in game let me know down below your thoughts that would be awesome but for now this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's world if you found this video helpful or enjoyable make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and remember the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve